In this video, we're going to learn how to add an instructor profile page to your course menu. This is done in the resources area. To get to resources, find it on the menu bar and click. Inside the resources, you will see that I have several folders, document sharing, graphics, and one for each week. There's also something called Course Menu Page Index, and that is the file where your course menu page is. But before I add my instructor profile to the course menu page, I need to create that page. I'm going to put the instructor profile page inside this main resources area. To do that, I'm going to click Add and then create HTML page. And I'm doing this underneath the general companion sandbox resources area. So hovering over add and then create HTML page. Now I've already written the text for my instructor profile and I have it located inside of Google Docs. So what I'm going to do is copy the text by highlighting it and clicking Control C or Command C if you have a Mac and then going back into Sakai I'm going to use the paste from Word tool. It's a little clipboard with a W on it and the reason I want to use this tool is because Sometimes when we're pasting text into Sakai, some HTML junk comes with it and it can mess up your pages. So you click the Paste from Word tool and then you hit Control V or Command V to paste the text in this box. You can leave the first box to checked. You can also check the second box if you want to get rid of any bold or italic that you might have in your text and then click OK. And there's my text inside the HTML page. If I want to add a picture, I can enter some space at the top and then click the image button. I'm going to browse the server and then I'm going to go in the graphics folder and I don't have an image there yet so I'm going to click browse again find the image that I want and click open and then click upload to put that image inside the graphics folder. So there it is. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to make it a little smaller. I'm going to make it 150 pixels so that my face isn't huge on the page and then click OK. So now I have everything that I need for my instructor profile page in the HTML page and I'm going to click continue and then I'm going to give my page a name and I'm just going to call it instructor profile. These options you can leave just the way they are and click finish. So now you can see the instructor profile page in resources. I now need to go into Edit Details for that page and copy and paste the link, the web address URL, by highlighting it and Control C to copy. I'm actually going to hit Cancel instead of Update because I didn't make any changes here. And now I'm going to go into the Course Menu Page Index to paste that link by hovering over Actions going into edit content. I'm going to place my link over here on the right and I'm just going to highlight that text, delete it and write instructor profile, then highlight that and click the link button up at the top, paste my link in and click OK. Now all I need to do is hit continue and when you go to the course menu page, there's my instructor profile.